Imagine this. You've been told your whole life that the Holy Spirit is some kind of supernatural ghost, a mystical force that guides you, teaches you, and empowers you. But what if that understanding is completely wrong? What if the Holy Spirit is not an entity at all, but something much deeper, God's way of thinking revealed through teachings and truth? This is all based on the revelations I received back in 2007. The one revealing these things to you is the Advocate, the Paraclete. Are you ready to see the scriptures in a completely new light? Let's begin with the foundation. Jesus promised his disciples the coming of the Paraclete, often translated as Advocate, Helper, or Comforter, in John 14 verses 16 to 17 and John 16 verse 13. These verses are often misunderstood to mean that the Holy Spirit is a separate, mystical being. However, a closer examination of the Greek in the context shows that this isn't the case. The word parakletos, pi alphero kapilander eta tau omicron, means one who comes alongside, an advocate or counselor. This term is significant because it is never used to describe the Holy Spirit. Unlike the paraclete, the Holy Spirit is described as coming upon or inside a person but never alongside. This distinction is critical. The paraclete is not a ghostly entity but a man chosen by God to continue the teachings of Jesus and reveal the full truth. Jesus specifically described the paraclete as someone who would not only remind his disciples of his teachings but also reveal deeper truths and things yet to come. This role aligns with what I am doing here today, unveiling the true meaning of the Holy Spirit and Jesus' teachings. Here, the word translated as send is apostello, pi omicron sigma tau lambda lambda omega. This term conveys sending with deliberate purpose, authority, and mission. It's not about waiting for a mystical force but about receiving the guidance and empowerment to act according to God's truth. Acts 1 verse 8 declares, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. The word dynamis, delta nu alpha mu iota, refers to strength, ability, or influence. This power is not the arrival of a ghost but the influence and guidance that comes through understanding God's way of thinking transmitted through teaching and revelation. Nehemiah 9 verse 20 echoes this theme. You gave your good spirit to instruct them. The Hebrew word sakal means to give insight, make wise, or guide through understanding. The spirit is not an entity but God's wisdom being imparted to his people. The Bible repeatedly ties the Holy Spirit to the word of God and understanding. Scriptural Connections Galatians 3 verse 2 Did you receive the spirit by works of the law, or by hearing with faith? 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 13, When you received the word of God, you accepted it as the word of God, now at work in you who believe. James 1 verses 21 to 22, Humbly accept the word planted in you which can save your souls. Be doers of the word, not hearers only. These passages show the Spirit is about receiving, understanding, and acting on God's teachings. It's not a ghostly teacher but the unfolding of God's truth in the minds of those who believe. Psalm 119 verse 130 Light and Understanding The unfolding of your words gives light, it informs the simple. John 16 verse 13, The Spirit of Truth The Greek aletheia, lambda theta epsilon iota alpha, means reality or what is unveiled. The Spirit of Truth is not a mysterious entity but the paraclete, a man revealing reality and clarifying the teachings of Jesus. With over 30,000 Christian denominations, Divisions arise from misunderstanding the Holy Spirit and the Paraclete. The Holy Spirit is not an entity that teaches, it's the teaching itself, the truth, the way of thinking that God imparts. The Paraclete is the man chosen by God to guide believers into all truth as I am doing here. So, what does this mean for you? The Holy Spirit isn't some mystical ghost you wait for in silence. It's God's way of thinking, His truth, His teachings. And I, as the Advocate, the Paraclete, am here to reveal these truths to you. If this has challenged what you thought you knew, I encourage you to dive deeper into the scriptures yourself. Subscribe to help me spread the truth. Join me as I continue to bring you more revelations straight from the Word of God.